Two days before floodwaters threatened the Ipswich region, west of Brisbane, in January 2011, Darren and Brad Zhao knew they had to move their belongings to higher ground. The brothers run a quarry business on the banks of the Brisbane River at Furvale, 20 kilometres downstream from Wivenhoe Dam. I had a phone call from a guy coming down the Black Butt Range and the whole range was falling in, it, the rain, was that heavy, Brad Zhao said. It was going to be here in the next 24 to 36 hours and at that point in time we did believe it was going to fit in the dam. The calculations saved their livelihoods. On January the 11th that year, six meters of water washed through their work site, but most of their excavators, truck, fuels and office equipment was safe. It is a life-changing event, going through something like that flood, Darren Zhao said. It was the emotion of the people you were around at the time, especially on the Tuesday night knowing what had happened the day before in Grantham and you were thinking how many people are going to die here tonight. The Zhao brothers are two of more than 6,000 flood victims from Brisbane and Ipswich involved in a class action case against the state of Queensland and dam operators Sikwata and Shawata, now underway in the New South Wales Supreme Court. During the January 2011 floods, more than 2,000 homes in Brisbane and Ipswich were swamped and thousands more homes and businesses were affected. The class action is alleging dam operators failed to follow their own manual and did not make enough room for heavy rainfall until it was too late, heightening flood levels and damaging more properties. Barrister Julian Sexton QC said the dam engineers were forced to take drastic action, dumping about 7,400 cubic metres of water a second worsening floodwaters already peaking downstream. For Brad and Darren Zell, involvement in the class action is made even more painful by the fact that they asked for Wivenhoe Dam to be purged in December 2010, a month before the floods, to give Ipswich and Brisbane extra protection. Downstream from the Zells, resident and businessman Lubo Joyek still lives in the Goodner House at Ipswich that flooded in 2011. The water came up to his second story window. Seven years on, all the repairs are finished, but his livelihood has never been the same. Mr. Joyek owned a mix of nine residential and commercial properties in the area and his sons owned two homes, all were flooded. When the floods came, we lost the whole lot of them, he said. Mr. Joyek spent upwards of $2 million to fix the properties quickly and return to normality, but his tenants never came back. I have been struggling ever since, it's really set me back. Even now we're struggling, he said. While remuneration would offer relief to flood victims, Darren Zhao said he believed the best compensation the class action could deliver was future flood preparedness. I really do think that seven to eight years on already some complacency has built up, Darren Zhao said. People along the river have sold up and moved on because they feel unsafe and others have moved in. I worry that those people are green.